Hello and welcome to this video, I'm back, my name is Zara and today I'm going through how you analyse your chess games and how you can become good at analysing your chess games quickly. So when you play a chess game, whether that's online or over the board, after most of your games you should be analysing them if you're playing in order to get better. Analysing basically means going through your game, looking at the mistakes you made, looking where you could improve, what you could have done to maybe have found the top engine move or to improve your play in general, such as spotting tactics more easily or similar things like that. Now, obviously, analysing a game can be pretty hard, especially if it's a long game, like over 60 moves or something. Um, yeah, it, it can be quite difficult, but it is essential if you want to start to improve your chess. So you should be analysing your game quite soon after you've played it, um, basically go through the game yourself and think about the thought process that you had when you were making each move, such as in the opening, why did you play that specific opening, do you know what you're fighting for, such as in the English, you're basically fighting for domination on the light squares, and if you don't know that, why don't you know that? Why did you play that opening? Is there a different opening you, you could have played that would have benefited you more? That type of thing. Also, especially for over the board games, think about your thinking process whilst you were in that game. What were you thinking at that moment when you were about to make that move or when you did make that move on what your opponent's response could be, what your response to that was going to be and thinking into moves in the future. A good habit to get into is thinking about the possible evaluation that the engine would give you when you're playing the game and also when you're analysing your game, basically thinking, if I moved this pawn here, instead of moving my knight here, how would the evaluation change? Would I be at an advantage, a disadvantage? And you should really be doing that without looking at the engine first. You should be doing it on your own and basically testing yourself in a way to see if you are playing chess correctly or if you are playing it by the rules of an engine. So one of the things if you are analysing with a computer as well that you need to look out for is over analysing with a computer. Sometimes the top move for a computer is literally pushing one pawn forward by one square and you would just never find it when you're in that crucial game, in that crucial position. It's just so incredibly hard to find. You need to be realistic with yourself. Would you have found that in the game? Did you find that in the game? Why didn't you find that in the game? It's a difficult move. What could you have done? What could you have looked for? Specific tactics that you may have missed? Or were you thinking about what your opponent's response was going to be? I often go through the game myself after I've played it um, in order to analyse it. And what I do is I turn off the engine at first, I skip past the opening, or sometimes if something major happened in the opening, I will analyse that more deeply. But I go to the moment I know I'm out of theory and basically think, okay, what do I think the evaluation in this position is? Am I up any material? Do I have more space on the board? I'm castled already. Is my opponent castled? What is their side of the board looking like? And basically I write that down in order to then think, okay, what's the evaluation of this position? And did I evaluate that whilst I was playing the game myself? would it be better if I did try to evaluate the position myself in order to see which moves I should have played. So another thing I like to do is basically evaluate and basically sort of split the game into obviously the opening, the middle game and the end game. Think about the battles that are in all of those. Were you in a better position at the end of the opening than your opponent was? Or did your opponent manage to play some tactics or something that were beautiful during the middle game that put you into a worse position and then obviously your end game how high was your accuracy if you care about that type of thing or how well did you play tactically during the end game because there are some important tactics that you can get in the end game and what should you have played differently it's very important obviously to analyze the games that you won and also the games that you lost it's really truly an important part of chess, basically realising your mistakes and realising how you avoid it in the future. Chess is very much a game of pattern recognition and recognising those patterns if you're falling into them again, not recognising tactics, just ignoring what your opponent's doing 
and just going because you think, oh, that's that's a waiting move or something. But in actual fact, it might make your position crumble. I feel like a lot of beginners in chess also go and they attack something and forget that they might be getting attacked or they forget what they were attacking. Um, and analysing that and figuring that out early on basically improves your chess 10 times, even more. Basically, constantly thinking about your train of thought and what you're going to do next and how you could improve it. Perfect, you're going to improve your chess quickly. So like I said before, one of the important things is evaluation. And I feel like after a tactic or something is made, you should be thinking in your head, okay, what's the evaluation of this position? Did I lose something? Am I down in exchange? Do I need to try to set up some tactics that my opponent might not see for now, but I see it, and then I can capitalise on that in the future? Obviously, after you analyse by yourself and like go over your game, you're able to spot things that you may have missed more easily. And then once you go over with the computer again, you've already written that sort of holistic human approach that you would have done down. And you've got that already in your head and then you can look at the computer and see what is the best move in that position and how your evaluation would be if you did move that pawn, move that bishop, move that knight, anything. It's really important to analyse a game. I know quite often times after I lose a really bad game, I don't even want to look at it. But truly, it will help you. And like I said, with the pattern recognition, you're going to avoid that in the future by doing this, by analysing your games, by getting that patterns into your head. You're going to see an improvement and you shouldn't just be focusing on game review on chess.com, for example. You should be going onto the analysis section, turning the eval bar off, going and looking and seeing, okay, this is a move I could play. Did I play it? Why didn't I play it? Would it have made my position better or worse? One of the things that I like doing is writing down what I could have played after my game and basically sort of trying to figure out that if I played H4, for example, they could have played this that may have prevented whatever move I was going for. And basically thinking that logic through and writing that down so that I can begin to think more like that during the games that I'm actually playing rather than just afterwards. Also writing it down in notation, in like a random notebook you have, it does help and it will help you visualise the board better. I know a lot of early players and players at any level may struggle with board visualisation. It's like when you watch videos of the top grandmasters playing like blindfold simuls or something and it just looks absolutely ridiculous but it does help to be able to visualise the board in both your analysis and also your games. That's why you see grandmasters so often like looking away from the board and thinking, analysing, calculating. Uh, yeah, I hope that helped. If it did, then leave a like, subscribe, leave me a comment down below, tell me what video you'd like to see next. And yeah, I'm sorry I wasn't here last week. I'm not sick anymore, which is good, thank God. Um, and yeah. <laughs> I will see you guys next time. Bye.